Well, for many, it was a once in a generation experience. The chance to see the moon block out the sun during April's total eclipse. One group of engineers, some from New Mexico, captured it from a whole different perspective. News 13's Annalisa Pardo shows you. While most people were looking up on April 8th to see the eclipse, look, 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 look. Can you see? Mark Wells and his team, Edmund Space Agency, were looking up at something else. Once we release the balloon, then it's at that point we're kind of being held hostage to the wind. After hundreds of simulations and late nights at work, we were redesigning our, our, uh, our battery system and some other things and, and, and redoing our code almost up until the last moment there. The team of about seven, mostly from New Mexico, traveled to Brackettville, Texas to be in the eclipse's path of totality. The team launched a weather balloon filled with hydrogen gas attached to a module made of styrofoam decked out with six cameras. Actually seeing the thing go up as fast as it did, um, I, I just, it was, I'd never quite seen it like that. The weather balloon flew 20 miles up and captured the eclipse before the balloon burst and an attached parachute brought the cameras back down to earth, though the team was still on cloud nine. It was like a combination of, of Easter and Christmas, the Easter egg hunt being finding our module where it landed. And then once we found it, it was like opening a, opening a, it was like every, every Christmas all rolled into one opening presents to see what do we have here. And then we found out that we had four cameras that actually recorded the entire flight. So we were, we were just thrilled. To Taking in the unique view of the eclipse. It's just the thrill of exploration and, and getting out there and seeing things that we wouldn't otherwise ever be able to go up, get up and see. And ready for the next launch. Some people spend their time building model trains. We like to spend our time building things that can go up and photograph things from the edge of space. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE, News 13. Pretty cool. Edmund Space Agency was able to do this launch for less than $1,000. They're hoping to receive funding or sponsorship to travel to Australia to capture the eclipse there in 2028.